Hello fellow Proverbs of Destruction. My name is Video James, and we got another Who's More Deadly. So after the last one, I immediately thought of this combination because I was thinking of dragons for some reason. I can't remember why. But I was thinking of dragons, and I immediately thought, wait a minute. Oh, this needs to be done. I want to see this. Unfortunately, there was no such showdown located anywhere on YouTube or any other site. So we're going to be looking at it today. Deadly is going to be between the White Fatalis of the Monster Hunter series and Smog from Lord of the Rings. To start off as who's more deadly, we're going to start with Smog. Now, Smog is a fire drake of the Third Age and is said to be the last of the great dragons in the series Lord of the Rings. Now, why does Last of the Dragons ring a bell for me? In his search for treasure, this dragon laid siege to a town called Dale and captured the nearby Lonely Mountain, which housed the dwarves' largest hoard of treasure ever, upon which he slept for over two years. Time. He wasn't just sitting there sleeping on a pile of treasure. He had a plan. He was allowing diamonds to embed into his belly in order to prevent his weakness in his underscales. However, as he was doing this, diamonds didn't embed into one spot, which left a bare patch on his chest. In terms of length, smog is reported to be 20 to 25 meters, depending on the adaptation you look at. With this size comes devastating abilities, such as a dangerously sharp intellect, a fascination of playing with whatever tries to invade his territory. And on top of this, he's got the ability to breathe fire in not only plumes, but balls of flame. He has flight due to his obvious giant wingspan, and with this giant wingspan is able to create gusts as strong as a hurricane. Of all that, he has nearly impenetrable scales, except for one area on his chest. Now for all his great qualities, Smog does have something that's wrong with him. While Smog is extremely proud and confident of his abilities, as well I would think he should be, because he's laid siege to multiple towns and taken an entire horde of treasure larger than his own body, so extremely arrogant and overconfident. He thinks that no one can stand up to him and that his weakness is so minuscule that no one will ever be able to exploit it. However, this weakness is his exploitation. His overconfidence and his greed lead to his downfall that build a big enough statue of gold and he'll be distracted by it for a good amount of time. And as we said before, that one spot in his chest isn't exactly invulnerable. That it is actually very easy to hit. And then moving on to the next who's more deadly contestant, we have the White Fatalis. The White Fatalis is an elder dragon, which is basically the equivalent of God from one of my favorite series, Monster Hunter. This dragon is covered in luminescent white scales with antler-like horns and a large ridge of fur going down its entire back, clear to the tip of its tail. This dragon possesses a giant wingspan and has a head less reptilian than its cousins, the Black Fatalis and the Crimson Fatalis. White Fatalis' chest will begin to glow red and it will begin to surround itself with red lightning. Now to understand why this dragon is so dangerous and so deadly, we have to understand the lore behind it. So this dragon has been labeled a black dragon in every one of its species, which not only means that it may have some sort of black coloration in some part of its body, but meaning it also is a dragon that can bring death to entire countries. Other dragon that is labeled a black dragon that is very similar in strength to the Fatalis, but is still weaker. And that dragon is the Dire Morales. Morales is labeled as the dragon that lives in the Red Sea, and has earned the nickname Dragon That Destroyed the Seas. And this is for a very good reason. Before the Dia Morales moved to its new location, it was basically a thriving ecosystem in an ocean that was clear blue and had a wondrous ecosystem flowing through it. However, once the Dia Morales showed up, it used its meteor calling abilities to basically destroy that entire sea and stain it a permanent blood red for all of eternity able to call down meteors from the sky and basically destroy any hunter with not only a bite or a swipe from its claws, but it is also able to breathe fire at points. Dia Morales may be feared, the Fatalis is so frightening that it has had legends and stories made up about it and has been labeled the perfect enemy of humanity, one of the only dragons to ever be considered by humans as evil. One such legend of the Fatalis sends fear through everyone who hears it and is sung by children. Now the reason this is scary is because children are believed to have a sense of premonition that is better than adults, that they are usually the first to see something coming in the future. Meat is eaten, bone is crunched, and blood is sucked dry. He burns the earth and melts through metal, burns the river and mows down trees. 
Awakens the wind and lights the inferno. He is called Fatalis, the dragon of destiny. He is called Fatalis, the dragon of death. Fatalis, heaven and earth are yours. Fatalis, Fatalis, heaven and earth are yours. Now the Fatalis had actually taken part in the Great Dragon War. Back then it was assumed that there weren't very many of them. However, one of them would prove enough to end this war. The Fatalis had witnessed its elder dragon brothers and lesser wyverns slaughtered for millennia to make armor for hunters, weapons, as well as create the mechanical dragons that would be used to hunt down and eliminate elder dragons species by species. The Fatalis had enough. It laid siege to multiple cities and villages, and not only destroyed these villages, but destroyed anyone who faced it. Now on top of this, the Fatalis not only destroyed everyone who faced it, but it did something truly menacing. It melded the bodies of its champions to its body in order to make its own mock armor. This wasn't done out of anger or fear, however, or trying to compensate for a weakness like Smog, but this was done as a message. Humanity is not the ruler of this world. Humanity will never be able to control the dragons, or eliminate them altogether. But the dragons will eliminate humanity, because humanity is prey. Prey for the Elder Dragons. Prey for the Fatalis. Eventually, this dragon decimated the city of Shrade, believed to house the great center of the Dragon War, and eventually ended this war. While there have been tales of people actually slaying a Fatalis very rarely, these tales don't come without a warning. Those who make the Fatalis armor lay claim to actually being able to hear the voices of the Fatalis' slaughtered victims in its head. And the more this Fatalis is killed, the more and more this hunter will hear these voices. Eventually, the hunter will slowly begin to die from the armor and will eventually become nothing more than a pile of bones, or in some cases, disappear completely. Talus, the one that destroyed Shrade and laid siege to so many hunters, is actually believed to still be alive to this day. This dragon is not only feared, but it is proverbed that it will return one day to lay siege to humanity. The dragon's fearsome past in history comes a devastating range of abilities. Not only can it fly with its massive wingspan, but it is also able to call down red lightning from the sky, surround its claws with said lightning as well as its entire body and it is able to build up this red lightning inside of its mouth and fire blasts of electric energy at its opponents. Not only that, but the more a hunter wears down the Fatalis, the more and more dangerous it gets. As the Fatalis' health diminishes, the dragon's skin gets stronger and stronger, to the point where nearly every weapon will bounce off it and leave no effect on the Fatalis. In addition to all that, the Fatalis also has a roar that can not only hurt hunters it is so powerful, but also ranges across the entire world in which the Fatalis lives that it ranges for miles and miles, with no escape in sight. Now to pick a winner of this contest isn't really fair, because there was never any contest to begin with. The winner of this who's more deadly is the White Fatalis. While Smog may be strong and he may be able to breathe fire, one of the most destructive powers to know any sort of humanity, he has an overwhelming arrogance, that this dragon's ability to speak and his extremely sharp intellect as well as his greed, are actually his downfall. The Fatalis does not what it does through means of fear or intimidation. It does what it does as a means of protecting the natural order, and anything that comes close to the Fatalis will die, regardless of human or elder dragon species. Simply put it, Fatalis Fatalis, heaven and earth are yours. It's be it for this who is more deadly, so let me know what you guys thought. I really want to see a showdown between these two. Either in Blender, in Source Filmmaker, or somewhere on YouTube. I don't care. I want to see a showdown between these massive dragons. So if you guys enjoyed it, leave a like down below. I will leave links in the description to all images that I used, as well as a link to the lore of the Fatalis video on YouTube from which I got most of this information from. Regardless, for now I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you can slap the like button as always, and I'll see all you beautiful people in the next video.